Hey guys, welcome back and uh, welcome to another quick hit series because I'm on vacation. Uh, you might be saying to yourself, hey, he says that this is a different day all the time. Well, okay, yeah, sure, I'm wearing the same shirt and it always looks sunny, but one, I'm at a lake, it's always sunny. Have you ever been in a lake when it rained? No, because it doesn't happen. Number two, again, vacation. Do you think I'm doing laundry? Do you think I brought more than two sets of clothes? You're out of your mind. Didn't, come on, be an adult. Today we've got some more untitled, I'm, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, we have Humble Forager today. Um, versions two and versions three of their Coastal Sunshine series. We'll, uh, we'll grab the cans here because uh, they are fruited sours with a lot of fruit. Uh, so I'm gonna have to read which we all know is difficult for me. It's uh, why John Interpretive danced his love letter to me, because he misses me so. I'd post it, um, but I think it kind of breaks a couple of YouTube sexual content guidelines, so we're just gonna leave it at that. Coastal Sunshine Fruited Sour, this is version two. Uh, dragon Fruit, Mango, and Passion Fruit. So what these guys do, it's the same base beer, it's a lactobacillus blend that they make, um, but then they condition it on different, uh, on different fruits um, to end up with the final beer. Um, this one is 6% alcohol by volume, um, and again, dragon fruit, uh, passion fruit, and mango on this one. Um, out of the two of these, um, this one is the least tart. Now that doesn't mean that it's not tart. It, it absolutely is. Uh, the fruits come through and shine very well. There's enough of uh, the lacto in there to give it a little bit of an acetic bite. And then uh, the, the fruits really go and, and smooth it out. Um, now don't be scared when you pour this into a glass. Um, both of these, um, they look like V8 Splash. They don't look particularly appetizing if you're not into the V8 splash game or you're not making your own juice. Um, it, they do look weird. That being said, they are delicious, both of them. Um, especially this first one. Um, you know, it all depends on your level of tartness really between the two. So version three has tangerine, passion fruit, mango, and sour sop. Uh, the tangerine and the sour sop, which I didn't know what the hell that was. Um, but the tangerine and the soursop really uh, uh, punch up the, the tartness and the acidity um, just that much more. Um, that doesn't mean that it wasn't refreshing, uh, but it does mean that um, on a day like today is going to be or yesterday was, um, you know, I, I want something that's not necessarily going to punch me in the mouth with the, uh, with the tartness. Not to say that they both weren't just absolutely delicious. Um, honestly, my rating, buy them both, try them out side by side, see which one you like better, and then go buy more, buy a case of the one you like better. D support these guys. They do great stuff. Uh, we already did their Samoa cookie beer. Um, these were excellent. D look, the Wisconsin guys, they, they got it going. They, they are just really producing some great stuff all the way around. So if you see a beer coming out of Wisconsin, just pick it up and try it. The Humble Forger. Coastal Sunshine series, both of these are buys. Figure out which one you like more, and then buy a case of that one. Toby, you're, you're ruining the takes, bud. Look at him, this, this guy just doesn't care. Toby, Toby, with the knocking. Ah, uh, well. All right, that'll do it for this quick hitter. Maybe I'll change clothes, maybe I won't. Who the hell knows? And I will see you guys uh, when I get bored of the lake.